sand. Sand. We've discovered sand. Oysters. The broad story in the West, very broad, is it was squeezed and yeah. raised and then it fell apart. Do the twist. Uh, Every high spot shall be made low. See the the the. So this is way cool. This rack fell off. This rack fell off. This rack fell off. Shridhar and I teach a class at Penn State that reaches about 700 students per year. We're working to build an online version of our course. To do that, we have this wonderful group of students who are traveling around the West with us, learning filmmaking. They will put together materials that then go online so the thousands of students will be able to share in what this small group of students has done. We gotta understand the world if we're gonna get along with it. And understanding the world is climate and it's living things and ecosystems and it's water and it's oceans and it's ice and it's geology. We have taken the really great pieces of geology and set them aside for us to enjoy and us to study. Yeah, I think so. For the public, our goal as professors is to have a discourse with everyone because we really do believe it's important. We really do believe it matters to real people. And it's why this whole thing is so exciting and so cool to be here in the parks. Big processes in geology are physics, chemistry, and biology acting over deep time. Deep time is this notion of the Earth being billions of years old. All these different canyons we've seen have been carved by rivers, and they've been carved at rates that are remarkably low. A sheet of paper a year and a few million years and you have a canyon. It is an extraordinary notion that water and wind can modify a landscape like this and the only way you can believe it is if you believe that the Earth is billions of years old. Charles Darwin came along and he came up with this wonderful, elegant theory called evolution. And his theory needed time. And the geologists are the ones that came along and said, you got all the time in the world because the Earth is old. Your theory can work because we got all the time in the world for you. And it's recorded in the rocks. Notice sand by itself doesn't stick together at all. It's very loose and it bounces around and it's very easy to blow. And I just made a little sand dune. You'll notice that I eroded on this side and I deposited on this side. Well, that's a conglomerate, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Look at that, babe. That's the conglomerate we were looking for. That's beautiful. Before the hoodoos formed, it was one solid rock layer. And when rain came from above, it just bounced off the hard layers. Then fractures formed, and they separated, just a little. Rivers are curving through the red. Oh, I'm out of tune altogether. Sorry, I'm going to admit it. <laughs> okay, so what this is, and, and again, I think I told most of you this already, this is an old fiddle tune called Red Wing. It exists in a whole bunch of different forms over the years. Um, including a, a, a song by Woody Guthrie, uh, who set um, uh, words to it that are completely different, but um, it's got a catchy tune. Salt will surely flow, or falls down far below, to break the fin, so rain begins to sculpt the arching show. On face of Verde's crown, caves ring it all around. Ancestral Pueblo people live till dryness force them down. And the rivers are carving through the red rocks where history walks where the deeper time talks. Carving ever deeper through the red rocks 
May they keep carving forevermore. May they keep carving forevermore. So what? I still have satellites in 6,000 feet. I have satellites everywhere. This is spectacular. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. We sat there last night in the Green River Overlook and watched the sunset over the green and canyon lands, and it was just breathtaking. And I've occasionally heard this bizarre fiction that somehow being interested in this, understanding this, knowing the research of it and the depth of it, takes away the beauty. And all you see is a subject for experimentation. And it's, it was gloriously beautiful. I do love what I do. I do love geology. And I'm not sure why. It's beautiful. Uh, the patterns are sweet. I like what I see. I like getting under the skin of the earth and understanding why it is where it is. I believe it's useful. I believe that we're doing things that will help people. I know we're doing things that are fun.